Okay, so evening guys, welcome to another episode of The Viking Beard with me, Matt. I uh, hope everyone's having a fantastic Monday out there. Got another review coming up this evening. So yeah, now if you've watched any of my other videos on the channel, you'll know I'm trying to grow my way to a big, thick, dense, epic style Viking beard. First time in my life I've actually tried to grow one as opposed to I can't be bothered to shave. So being a sort of newbie trying to grow a beard, what I'm trying to do is find my favourite and best products out there for my beard, my face, my skin, all sorts of bits and pieces to make myself look good, smell good, feel good, stuff that nourishes my skin, my beard, my hair and all sorts of stuff. Now what I'm priding myself on on this channel is these are completely 100% honest reviews, okay? I'm not affiliated to any of these companies whatsoever, so I am giving you my honest review. Like I said, we've all got our own opinions about stuff in life, which is cool, stuff that I might like, you might hate, stuff that you might like, I might hate. So it's all down to opinion and we're all entitled to that. So, I've had some products sent through to a company which is a UK based company called the Audacious Beard Company. Now like I say, I'm not affiliated to this. This is not an unboxing, kind of is but it isn't because I have actually used these products. I do not see the point in doing a review of the product when you haven't actually used it because then that's technically just an unboxing. And I like to give you guys out there that are watching kind of like my opinion on stuff that I've used and whether I like it and how I'm getting on with it. So this is like I say from the Audacious Beard Company. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna look at the packaging, the products, kind of some of the ingredients and scents and stuff like that with it. Then at the end of it, we're gonna talk about the price and we're gonna score it out of 10. So zero bin, I am never gonna to touch this stuff again. It's just gonna sit there on the shelf and gather dust. 10 bin, absolutely fantastic and spot on. And I'm gonna use this for the rest of my life or as long as I have a beard. So we shall crack on with it. So let's say UK based company. And what we're gonna do is have a look at the packaging first. I'm just gonna have a slurp of coffee because I recently got in from work and it's nice to sit and have a coffee. So I hope you're all having a great Monday out there. Uh, trouble is you get a day off and it comes and it goes so quickly. Okay, so I received this package and we're gonna have a look at the packaging for a start. Now all the stuff that they've sent through is impeccably well packaged, okay? I'm very shocked at the lengths that they have gone to to make their stuff look really nice, okay? As we know, packaging doesn't mean a thing because you can't judge a book by its cover. Stuff that's absolutely beautiful packaging might be a load of rubbish inside and stuff that's kind of plain and just your normal standard run of the mill looking stuff could actually be really fantastic. But we will find out as we go on through this. So everything that they send through has come through in, I will provide links to all their products and website and everything down below in the content and description and everything down there afterwards. But the, everything comes through in this brown packaging. It's all tied up, excuse me getting out of view for a second, with these and the tags on it. And the packaging is absolutely spot on. There's somebody out there in this company that has taken a lot of time and effort to make their product stand out and look like you're getting a really nice product through. And although I know product isn't everything, it's kind of appreciated, you know, it hasn't fallen short that a company's gone. Now we're gonna make it nice as well to look at and proud of to have on the shelf as opposed to possibly, hopefully, being good. Also inside the package, they have sent me one of these rubber bands with the Audacious Beard Company written on the side. They sent me through some card, the Audacious Beard Company. They also sent me through some stickers as well. Stickers are always good because they're going on the mi mirror at the moment. So, stickers, give it Audacious. Cool. So 
stickers and bands aside, everyone can punt out some freebies, so it doesn't necessarily once again make the product look good. So they sent three products through for me to have a look at, their beard oil, their beard balm, and a shampoo beard soap. So we shall start off with the oil and have a look at the packaging on that. And they come in these brown boxes. As you can see, we've got the Woodsman, the Wood Chopper, and the Buccaneer. On the back, a list of all the ingredients and description and everything else on the back of it, which is nice. And so we'll look at the oils first. In just a second, we'll just quickly look at the other packaging. The beard balm, brown glass little jar with the logo on the front, and the soap as well comes in a nice little box, same sort of style, a little soap dish for it to go on. So, but we'll look at the products in just a minute. Okay, so looking at the oil now. These guys use natural ingredients, and I do like that in products. I am noticing that same as food and everything nowadays, I'm trying to look on packages and on websites before I buy stuff, because I don't want to be putting chemicals all over my face. It's taken me a long while to grow this beard, and I don't want to ruin it. I want to keep the skin nice underneath. I want to keep the hair hydrated, soft and clean looking, and I don't want to ruin it. So natural ingredients, in my opinion, are a lot better than synthetic chemicals and everything else. So I'm just going to open these up to have a look at. Dun, dun, dun. So we've got the Woodsman, the Buccaneer, dun, dun, dun. And we've also got the wood chopper. So we'll have a look first at the woodsman, okay? So they come, same sort of thing as the balms. They come in a little glass bottle like this. Obviously these are 30 mil bottles. Glass, I do like it when companies put pipettes on them because pumps are okay. I don't have a problem with a pump at all. The ones that annoy me uh, when you get the looser, thinner oils and they've got one of those almost like a uh, kind of like a shaker in it that you shake it out onto your hand. For me, it, it you can't control what you're doing. At least with this, you can put four drops, six drops, eight drops, ten drops if you've got long beards and whatever. So it's nice to be able to control that. The glass and the packaging looks very, very nice. It's very neat. So this is the Woodman. Now this is allegedly musky, spicy and woody scent and the woods, Woodsman is actually made from grapeseed, bergamot, patchouli, cardamom, cedarwood and vitamin E. So we'll have a look at or have a smell of it, see what it smells like. These are not punch in the face scents, they're not can't smell anything at all. These are your nice kind of medium-y sort of things that kind of just seep in and throughout the day you get the sort of smell wafting up through the breeze or wherever into your nose and you can smell it. But it's not an overpowering smell. It's either coffee or oil. I've just dripped the hammy beard in them one. And that does smell like it. So that one is the Woodsman. Which is that one there. We also have the Buccaneer. The Buccaneer allegedly smells of rum and exotic spice. The Buccaneer is made from grapeseed, bergamot. It's also made from tea tree, tangerine, bay and vitamin E. And let's have a smell of that one. Yeah, yeah it kind of smells that. Not so much of the rum, because obviously you don't want to go around smelling like you just drunk a bottle of rum, or perhaps you do. It's quite, there's definitely some of the tangerine in that. And you've also got the wood chopper, which is allegedly musky, earthy, and sort of hot, peppery sort of scent to it. And this has got grapeseed, patchouli, bergamot, juniper berry, pine needle, and it's also got vetiver and vitamin E in it. And we'll have a smell of that one. Yeah, definitely detect the pine needle in that. The pine needle and the juniper berry. Have another smell of that one actually. So yes, they all smell 
of their description because there is nothing worse than you've got a really nice flay scent of a beard oil or balm or something that you really want to go for you go out you buy it you get it back and you open it and you go it doesn't smell anything like it and i do like it when products describe an item one way and it comes through and it's exactly the same as their description i know it's not going to be kind of a hundred percent the same but as close to their description as possible and all, all three of these scents are spot on and smell exactly like it now let's just have a look at the oil themselves this one is the woodcutter and I have used these it's a clear and liquid in these whoop, as you can see and the oil itself kind of a medium viscosity few drops on that it's nice to get in from work I had a shower and it does with scents as well remember when you do go out and buy any beard balms beard oils and stuff like that that the heat generate you through your hands kind of almost like activates the smell so don't just rely on how the bottle smells because it does kind of like amplify the, the scent and smell of it so a little bit through there your tash, tash is getting longer. And then, and then rest around the side of the head. Good. Cool. I have noticed because, like I said, I have used this, so it's not just an unboxing. Within hour, hour and a half, that's absorbed into my beard. It's non-greasy. There's nothing worse than really greasy oil that you put on your beard. It doesn't absorb, and you just feel that horrible claggy sort of sensation. This is kind of quite a light. Um, beard oil and absorbs very quickly not particularly 100% greasy smells absolutely wonderful now the, we'll talk about prices and everything very soon for the oils I'll just pop them to one side excuse me move the boxes over there and we're on to the beard balm so this is their balm and Nice packaging again. This one has the woodsman sort of scent to it. Now, I have used it. You see, I'll take the dollop out of it to run it through my beard. And they're using the same scent in this one as they are the others. A little bit on the fingers. Run it through the hands again. Yep, definitely getting that same scent through that's from the Woodsman Beard Oil. And obviously with the beard balm, because it's got um, beeswax in it, it's not a beard wax as such, but it does help to keep stray hair sort of out of the way. I know my beard's curling and everything else. And again, sort of hydrates, keeps the skin nourished, keeps your beard conditioned and everything else like that. And the balm itself has got Shea butter in it, shea butter, whatever you want to call it nowadays. Grapeseed oil, beeswax and vitamin E. And like I said, does carry the um, Woodsman scent. So, cool. And they also sent me through a shampoo bar, beard shampoo bar. As you know, you can't use the same stuff as you put on your hair for your beard. Completely different makeup of sort of like hair in your beard than it is from on your head. So you can't use, well you can use stuff, but it's not particularly good for it because it really does dry your skin out. So they've sent through one of these to look at. Natty little soap dish that obviously you put your soap on there and then the water runs off from there. Stops your bar of soap from getting soggy, which is nice. And the bar itself, Although I haven't used it, I know what charcoal beard soaps are like. And got, even got his little logo stamped on it. Smells nice, nice clean sort of smell. Obviously it's charcoal, as you can see, it's got that black activated charcoal in it. The shampoo bar is really good. I haven't used it yet, but obviously it's a nice product. And so right, there's some really nice looking stuff there. Now let's talk about prices. So with the oil, these for a 10 mil, which is obviously 10 millimeters, this one isn't. This is running in at seven pound 65. Not too bad for 10 mil. 30 mil, 13 pounds 95. 
okay? So it's not too bad, it's kind of like what I'm learning at the moment, kind of your middle sort of prices, around about anywhere between 10 and maybe 17 to 20 quid for a 30 mil bottle isn't too bad, it's your kind of standard price. The beer balm, 30 mils is £9.95 and a 60 mil is uh, £13.50. Again, not ridiculously expensive. Because I don't know whether you've noticed, but I've noticed a lot that some of the companies now, because beards are fashionable and everyone from little boys to old grandmothers are growing beards and everyone in between, that people are seeming to kind of like bump their prices up because it's in fashion. And if it makes me wonder that if it wasn't in fashion, would the prices still be the same or would they drop? So, but... No, I think for the price of that isn't too bad at all. Like I say, £9.95 for a 30ml and £13.50 for the 60ml. With the soap as well, or the shampoo bar, £7.95 for the soap itself. It's fine, it's going to last you ages because obviously you're not going to use a whole bar of soap. And I only tend to actually, other than condition wash my beard, I will only probably properly wash it once a week so this is going to last you absolutely ages seven pound 95 i'm not going to break the bank and ten pound 95 for the soap and the soap dish so nearly 11 quid can't complain for a block of beard shampoo and uh what's his name the soap dish so pretty good as well you can buy the soap dish separate at three pound 95 so yeah that's it's fine it's good now coming to the nitty-gritty of it scoring it out of 10 now like I say I have tried all this stuff looked at the packaging we've looked at the products I think the products are good um, I think the soap and everything a nice product natural ingredients as well which is fantastic so scoring this out of 10 oh here we go again right so Glug your coffee before I do the all important scores. Ten, fantastic. Zero, it's just gonna sit there on the shelf. Five, yeah, it's alright. I'm gonna rate this Oh, it's really hard. Nine and a half out of ten. There, I've said it. I'm rating this at nine and a half out of ten. Reason I'm rating it nine and a half out of ten is because the products are really well made. B, they smell like they're supposed to smell. C, they're made of good in quality ingredients. The packaging on them is top notch, absolutely fantastic. They actually care about their products that they're making and it's not just a gimmick and everything else. The packaging that they send it out to you in is fantastic. So the packaging that you get mirrors the product that you're gonna get inside. So nine and a half out of 10 for the Audacious Beard Company. Nine and a half, absolutely fantastic. Obviously it's not getting a 10 because in order to get a 10, it's got to be, I use it, I smell it and I go, oh my God. That is the best thing I've ever tried in my entire life. So nine and a half is an absolutely fantastic score. Absolutely brilliant. I appreciate the Audacious Beard Company sending these out for me to have a look at and try. I will put description in the description down below, links to their website, social media and everything else. I, I would strongly recommend going and checking these out because the products are absolutely spot on. Thank you guys to them. This is an honest review and it is my honest opinion. I'm not affiliated to these guys whatsoever. So thank you to them. Fantastic job. Now, if you've liked the video, please feel free to like, subscribe and comment down below. I'm over on Instagram. So if you want to come and check out over there and vice versa and everything else. Thank you guys. I hope you have a fantastic what's left of Monday evening and a fantastic week. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video, whatever that's going to be of. But thank you. Keep loving each other. 
Keep growing those beards, be kind to one another, and thank you, have a great evening. Take it easy. Bye.